Hello and welcome to the Rhinet Live technical series of Forcepoint Next Generation Firewall. My name is Anas Shunag, Forcepoint Sales Engineer for Saudi Arabia. In today's session, we will be going through the installation of the SMC server step by step. You will need VMware workstations installed in your laptop or desktop machine or ESX server ready. Windows 2012 ISO image and evaluation license for SMC and Next Generation Firewall virtual machine. During the installation, we will follow the specifications and settings listed in this slide. We will use virtual machine with 4 virtual CPU cores, 2 gig of RAM, 1 NIC interface connected to VMNet 9, or an internal virtual switch in ESX server. Operating system will be Windows Server 2012, IP address that will be assigned is 10.0.0.1 with 24-bit subnet mask, with default gateway of 10.0.0.254, which will be the internal interface Ethernet 0 of the virtual firewall, which will be installing on the next session. For DNS, we can use Quad 8 or Quad 9 DNS servers. Remember to disable Windows Firewall prior to the installation and configuration of the SMC server. You can contact Forcepoint Local SE to get an evaluation license for SMC and Next Generation Firewall. We will start by creating a new virtual machine for the SMC server. We will select the default setting workstation 9.0. We will select install operating system later. Operating system is Microsoft Windows Server 2012. We'll give it a name that's convenient, which is SMC Server. And you can select to store or to save it either in the default location or select a different location for your lab. For the operating system, I recommend to go with four cores for uh, Windows operating system to work uh, well. 2 gig RAM is okay, that depends on the specs that you have. Uh, the network configuration will keep it as default, same for the hard disk, we'll select 60 gig. Then we need to check on the uh, ISO image, we'll be selecting the Windows Server 2012 64-bit. For the network adapter, we'll be selecting now custom one, but we'll make sure after that that the SMC server and the internal interface of the firewall, of the virtual firewall, are located on the same VM net. We'll click finish and start the virtual machine. This will take you with the steps on installing our Windows Server. Just select the default things. We don't want to do any customization. And once completed, just select the uh, administrator password. I prefer to have all the passwords the same in this lab uh, for the Windows Server machine, the administrator account, the SMC administration account, also when installing the virtual machine of the next generation firewall. Make it as the same password, then that will help you a lot. Then we will be installing the VMware uh, tools that will help you on the copy and paste and also with the mouse um, instead of using the control and alt to release the mouse just you can move it around. After that we will copy the installation file of the SMC 6.3. We will be going with SMC 6.3 uh, as the initial setup for this lab. Just to restart for the VMware tool to take effect. <coughs> for the network interface, give it an IP address which we agree on is 10.0.0.1. The gateway will be 10.0.0.254 and you can use any DNS server. 
the subnet mask is 24 bits. Okay. Let's extract the installation fo uh, folder for the SMC. Also, it's good to do the uh, activation for the Windows virtual, uh, or sorry, the evaluation uh, license by running slmgr.exe dot vbs uh, slash rear m now let's go and select the correct vm network we'll be using vmnet as the local uh, network for the smc and the internal interface of the virtual machine as a good practice also just disable the windows firewall make sure it's disabled so we don't need to add exceptions while we are doing the testing now we will start with the installation of the SMC okay make sure that you take a note of the setup file setup folder here you will be providing the admin username and password use the username admin and password you can select any password uh, as we said it's better to have the same password as the windows operating system for you to remember it setup is completed now we can go uh, to the installation folder under program files force point smc go to bin directory go to the sg client and create a desktop shortcut this will be a shortcut for the smc now double click and add the server 127.0.0.1 if you have it on a installed on a client not on the smc you can add the IP address of the server, log in with the admin, username and password, and we are done. And in the last step, we will be installing the SMC license and the virtual machine, virtual firewall license that will be used for the next lab. Hope you had an informative session and have a nice day.